Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video I want to talk about the uh, the status node in um, subflows and the video arises because I had gone asked a question on this and uh, I realized that I hadn't put any information in the tutorial and I'll put a link in the video description below to the tutorial on the site about um, subflows but there's no information there on the status node. So I thought I'd just record a, a quick video to, to cover it. So the the subflow I'm going to use is a subflow temperature conversion subflow. It basically converts centigrade to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to centigrade. And when you're creating these subflows, you start off with various functions, and then eventually you uh, put them into the subflow uh, by using this here, create a selection to subflow. So that's the way the subflows were created. Now, you can see this is the original function that's in, in the subflow. Now, I'm not going to go into the actual details of this, but basically you pass it in a payload, and this, this is 30, this is the temperature, and you tell it what to convert to, and it's C for centigrade, F to Fahrenheit, and Z is obviously not, not going to work, which is why this is labeled bad. So this is going to put a bad command in here, and this is going to put good, so we've got 30 going to convert to Fahrenheit. I'm not really interested in the results in this, but you might find the, the subflow useful, so you, uh, I'll make a, a copy of this um, flow available, so you'll be able to um, get the subflow if you need the subflow. Right, so it's just clear this on here, and if I inject the bad into here, you can see I get an error message in the status. And I also pick it up in the status node here, and it tells me it's, it's actually from the, the function node. Source is the function node. So that's all working perfectly okay. And if I put the good value in here, we get the value coming out. Okay, so now the next step is to put this into the, into the subflow, which I've done into this subflow here. And... I've actually got two subflows. One is the version one and one is version two. Now version one of the subflow doesn't have the status node in it. But it's exactly the same function node as we were using above. So let me go to it here and let's inject a bad. Let's clear that first. Let's inject bad into here. And you can see the status node again picks it up, uh, this node here. But I've got nothing displayed on the subflow. And again, if I put a good value in there, I get some something coming out here, 86. Okay, so the status information is missing. Now, if I just go to this function here and show you how the status is actually displayed, you can see here it's using the node.status and the fill, etc. This is standard for a function node. That's what makes the status display here on this function node here. But it's obviously not working on this um, subflow here. Now, to make it work on this subflow here, I have to change it slightly. And if I just go down and demonstrate it, I'm going to inject a bad one in here and nothing's working and I'm going to inject a good one in here and sorry there's the it's coming out there now I haven't yet converted this so what I'm going to do is convert this to make it work and make it display the status information here uh, the status information is currently displaying is because I was testing it earlier so we can ignore that for the time being so we're going to go on to temperature 2 and we're going to edit the template. You can see I've got the status node in here. But what I need to do here is not use the node.status to do it. I need to return a payload. So I'm just going to comment out this, comment out the return, and then... enable that. Now what I'm going to do is return the same status information but this time in the message payload and, and I'm going to return it on a second output so I'm going to return null on the primary output and 
the message on the secondary output, which is the status. And now we've got it here. The second output goes into the status node. OK, so let's just deploy this. And we can test it. Now we display the data here. And we send the good. And now we're sending the value here. Um, it's doing that because I got it to send the payload also to the status node even when it's a good payload. Now I could actually send it like I'm doing. Notice the, on the bad one it actually puts it in red. Red circle. Uh, something to remember on this function node here. There are actually two instances of this and the other one is up the top here and I need to swap this around as well. I need to comment out that one for completeness. And I'll leave it so as it's working. So when you download this flow, it'll be like this rather than with the uh, original code in there. So you can remove this if you want to. Okay, a couple of things I almost forgot. Um, when you get an error message on this one here now, um, it correctly reports it if in this picks up in the status node here. It corrects it correctly reported coming from the subflow. Can you see it here? It's coming from the subflow, that error message. Uh, in addition, there is a little comment in here um, referring to release 0 0.2. It's, I know that's a very old release, but this is where the um, status node was introduced into the um, subflow. And you can find out more information on it uh, by following that link there. OK, that brings us to the end of the video. Um, if you've got any comments on the video, then please leave them below. If you like the video, then click on the like button. And if you want to get notified of new videos on the channel, then you can always subscribe to the channel. Until next time, goodbye.